So one thing we've talked a lot about in recent days is how Donald Trump remains a clear and present danger to American democracy and American society. But a new article with an interview with a Harvard clinical psychiatrist shows that Donald Trump's insanity, his actual pathologies are so dangerous that they're sort of infecting other people. What's really interesting about this piece is it not only notes as we have that, you know, Donald Trump's ego, his lack of ability to take any responsibility for his failures or his wrongdoings, all of that is important. We'll talk a little bit about that. But what this piece really goes into is almost Donald Trump as a mental public health crisis, specifically around his supporters, the most diehard among them in particular. So for example, what it notes is that Donald Trump's ego, Donald Trump's insistence before, during, and after the election that he could not lose and that if he did lose, it was some manner of cheating through the mail or what have you that would allow Joe Biden to beat him, sort of baked into his supporters this idea that victory was the only legitimate option and that it created this drive or at least exacerbated this drive for an alternative reality that is not at all based in fact. And whether this is about the election or whether it was about the vaccines or whether it was about masks or whether it was about anything like that, Trump and his supporters and other right wing movements, you know, in the era of Trump became further and further pathologized with a sort of allergy to reality, an allergy to truth, an allergy to what was facing them right in their eyeballs. Right. And so this really is serious and it's bad enough that Trump did all that. But what makes it worse is he still wants to be president and he could be president. We've talked about this. Mock him all you want. The man's still the GOP frontrunner for 2024. And, you know, look at some polling that shows Biden up on Trump in a hypothetical 2024 election. And that's great to see. And I would believe it. But 2024 is a long ways away. And we know the Republican Party is working overtime to suppress the vote and to gerrymander and do everything they can up to and including refusing to certify the next results to prevent Democrats from having power, even if Democrats win legitimate elections all the way up and down the ballot. We know this. And so combining that with Trump's insanity, you really do create this poisonous moment for American democracy. And what this psychiatrist notes is that someone like Trump, someone like him, who's made an enemies list and who continues to dwell in the last election and continues to sort of stew in hatred and fear and anger and embarrassment and denial, he is not just going to be a gracious president in his second term. If hypothetically Trump was to come back to power in August through his coup or after a 2024 election where he wins legitimately or otherwise, he will not become an elder statesman. He will use that four years to enact as much revenge against his enemies, enemies within the Republican Party, within the Democratic Party, and just enemies within society, any group of people he felt didn't support him. And you know, that likely means the poor, the marginalized, the racialized people of different faiths, undocumented people, whoever. This is why we have to continue to talk about Trump because he's not irrelevant. When people call him crazy, there's a temptation to say, oh, he's crazy, AKA just lock him in the loony bin and forget about him. But no, that evil, that, that pathological evil is what makes him dangerous. And with the Republican Party in a cult-like mindset, they could put him back in the White House and there's no stopping him then.